These Wilder Years is a 1956 drama that is also the only pairing of screen icons James Cagney and Barbara Stanwyck. The plot follows Cagney as a rich businessman who inexplicably decides to take a leave of absence to go back to his hometown, which he hasn't been to in 20 years. Soon, we discover that Cagney is there to find the son he abandoned and put up for adoption all those years ago. He meets Stanwyck, who is the head of the orphanage where he placed his son, and asks for help. However, Stanwyck claims she can't divulge any of that information to Cagney. So then, Cagney sues. During the suit, lots of other things happen. With a plot like that, this feels more like the beginning of a bigger story, or an episode of a TV show. Which, I think that's why audiences back in 1956 didn't see this film, and why it wasn't so well received by critics either. Honestly, I think the smaller scope of the story is one of its biggest assets. It's never really trying to be big and grand. It's just trying to tell a story about a man who wants to atone for the mistakes he made long ago. It's not like he made an earth-shattering mistake, he just did something that was kind of a dick move, and it's been bugging him a lot. The fact is, most of our encompassing mistakes are a lot of little things, and there's nothing wrong with trying to fix them. That's why this film sticks out to me, and I enjoy it a lot for that reason. But of course, I like it a lot for other reasons, too. I think the subject matter is really interesting. It delves into unwed mothers and how easy it is for women to be disgraced while the men can run off and not be judged by society. This still kind of rings true nowadays. We get to see some women suffering firsthand. Cagney and Stanwyck do great, as usual. The highlight for me is the scene in the bowling alley. This is actually the climax of the film, and I won't spoil anything, but it's just such a bittersweet scene that makes the whole movie worthwhile. It's an excellent message for the time and allows Cagney to showcase more of a sensitive side that you don't tend to see him portray too often. It's a welcome departure that works so well, and you can sense a lot of the emotions he's feeling. If I do have a criticism of the film, it's that the script doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes. Like, sometimes the characters do things that make you scratch your head. And I wonder if this film was just rewritten so many times that the studio kept telling the writers to keep in the good scenes no matter what. And the really good stuff is really good, and definitely worth seeing. I'm not gonna act like this is an amazing movie by any means, but I do think this film deserves a lot more respect than it's already given. It's a smaller story that delves into various themes that even some films nowadays don't like to discuss. For that and the other reasons I listed before, I think this film is definitely worth seeing. Heck, I've seen it a couple of times now, and I still really enjoy watching it.